In this video, we're going to briefly discuss our new CS AutoGrader tool. This tool is used to automatically grade computer science assignments at West Hill High School. And it is used both for our regular classes like data structures and computer science A. It's also used for our computing competition practice where teams compete by submitting problems into the AutoGrader to see how many they got right. So the AutoGrader is accessible on your browser, so you just open up a tab under Chrome or Firefox, and it is located at the csautograder.herokuapp.com. And the first thing you need to do is go there and register yourself as a student, so you just hit this yellow register button on the top right. And you want to put in this information. When it asks you for your email, you want to use your personal email instead of your school email because your school email is not accessible outside of the school system and so you don't want to use that. Once you have registered you can log in. Now I'm gonna log in as a teacher but you're, when you log in as a student you'll see something that looks similar to this and the very first thing you want to do is get used to the autograder by doing this one assignment called Hello World which is an assignment that has been put in here with an extended due date so that anyone can come in here at any time and submit this assignment to see if they have mastered the use of the auto grader. So this uh, simple problem requires you to read a file. The file is going to have a number in the first line that tells you how many trials are going to be run. And then it's going to have, in this case, there's two trials. The first trial is going to be with the name Bob and the next trial is with the name Mary and your program simply has to loop through the input file. Uh, we're going to use input.txt and it's going to generate this output. So basically read each name and app uh, append it to the word hello. So to use the autograder what we have to do is first create a Java program that solves this and I'm going to, I've already done that here so I let me just show you the program that I wrote to do that. So here is the program and uh, the only thing that's unusual here is that instead of reading from a file like this, which is what we have done in class so often, uh, uh, what I'm doing instead here is I'm using this args0 and the args uh, array is the same as this args array right here and it refers to the command line. Uh, later in this video I'll show you how we can set the commands on the command line and this basically allows us to provide the file name when we run the program instead of when we compile the program. But in this case this args0 is being used for redirection by the auto grader. So we're going to create that as our input file. We're going to attach it to this scanner. And then in the first line of the input file, we're going to read how many trials we have to do. In other words, we're going to read this two number right here. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, loop that many times through and we're going to read each line and we're going to print the word hello and then the name. Now, one thing I want to mention here, you notice that I am reading the line as a string and then converting it to integer and you might be surprised by that wondering why don't I just read it as a number to begin with and to explain that is there's a whole nother video that explains why in coding competition in particular uh, it's better to read everything as a string and uh, I will in the description here in this YouTube video put a link to the other video that explains to you why you need to read everything in here as a string. That's a topic for a separate video though and not really part of AutoGrader. Anyway, so this particular program is going to run and hopefully solve our hello problem. So I'm going to compile it now. And you see that if I run it here, I can supply the file name right here. Now I have already uh, created this input file. Let me just show it to you. Uh, it's under the desktop and it's under this uh, BlueJ stuff to AutoGrader project. This is the project that I have been running in uh, BlueJ. 
And here is the input.txt file, and you can see that I have duplicated the I have duplicated the the input file that was suggested by the autograder. And uh, I, I'm, it's important when you create this input file and also any other files that you're using that you don't have any spurious spaces either at the end of each line or you, you don't want to have another line like I just created right here. You don't want to have that extra line uh, in there. So you want to just make sure everything is nice and tight. If you have to have spaces between your tokens, you want to make sure there's only one space. Otherwise, the autograder is going to get confused. Let me resave this. And so what I'm going to do is when I run my program now, is I'm going to specify that that's the input file. Now because the input file is stored in the same location as my BlueJ project, which is this project right here, uh, I don't have to give any prefix here. When you store the file in a different IDE such as uh, IntelliJ, you need to put this file in the source directory of your project. Now when I run this project, sorry, when I run this program, you can see that the output does come out exactly as expected. And so we are now in a position, let me just show you the code one more time. Uh, it's like this and we're going to run it in autograder now. So I'm going to come over here to autograder and I'm going to say choose files. And what I want to do is I want to navigate over to uh, wherever I have that project stored and I want to specify the dot class file. The autograder takes two files, a, a dot class file and a dot and the, the the Java file which contains the code. So the class file contains the compiled version so I'm gonna uh, select that and then for the the actual source code I'm just gonna cut and paste that from from the from the, the source file. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to just copy all this. Hit copy up here. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to paste it right here like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit this. And you can see that I'm getting a message here that I got 100%, which means that I've done everything right. Now, a couple of mistakes I want to just point out here. Um, if you get a runtime error, you're going to get a minus one as your score instead of 100%. The negative number indicates that a runtime error took place. That's kind of important to know. Uh, if there are multiple trials and you succeed on some trials and fail on the others, you'll get a percentage score here instead of 100. So that in a nutshell is a review of how to use the autograder.